part of what we were doing in uh, procurement, we the area that we most wanted to improve was monitoring um, of uh, the outcomes, really, in particular, because um, it was probably the, the weakest part of, of, of the procurement. But there was a lot of focus on pre-procurement and, and tendering, um, and there had been less focus on monitoring. This is why we're developing the Social Value Procurement Framework, which sets out a series of themes, measures and outcomes. Um, and alongside those, sit some indicators which uh, will lead towards the achievement of them all. And as part of that, um, we'll be working with suppliers to help them to understand um, what our priorities are and how they can include uh, the, those outcomes and measures and uh, indicators within their tendering opportunities. And um, if they win the contract, then they will be uh, included within that contract and they'll be responsible for um, monitoring uh, the delivery of them um, and the achievement of them. It may well be that they, they have a spreadsheet to, to fill in where they tick boxes or put uh, numbers against um, certain indicators. What that will show is, um, or give us, will be the ability to, to monitor contracts because we'd look to include that information then in contracts so that suppliers would have responsibility for, for delivering and reporting on them to us. That's really helpful because we have limited resource uh, within the council to actually monitor contracts um, and that will help us improve do that. So the next stage in Preston is really about embedding social value further into what we do and it, this is the really key part around being able to monitor and measure the wider outcomes that have been delivered through public procurement. We are in a really positive context because there is a really strong political and corporate buying into social value and embedding that at the core to everything we do as a council. And measuring wider outcome is probably the hardest, but also the most important and crucial part for, for institutions and organizations. Then the next stage is to really take the time to sit down with our different departments and assess how those activities are being defined and whether the right indicators are associated with them. So that when we talk, for example, about if environment is a really a key objective for us and one of the activities and outcome within that is reducing carbon emission or waste, what waste means will depend from one department to another and so having the right indicators associated with that and the right type of questions so that we can then understand how suppliers could help us achieve that, that outcome through their contract is key so that then it can also be monitored and the monitoring part is the hardest for, for so many organizations and if us often due to a lack of resources and so having the right tools in place really makes a big difference for organization because it streamlines processes it centralizes everything in one place mm -hmm.